Hey guys, welcome to game three between Doodle and Do Life. Doodle starting in the upper left hand corner as the orange Protoss three clock location. We have Do Life starting as the green Terran. This is BSL season 15 semifinal and potentially the last match as Doodle is up two games over Do Life and thus far Doodle has looked unstoppable. Unstoppable. This is gonna be on Monopoly. And if there is a map where I was going to say that Do Life should be able to pull it out, I would say this is the map. Because you have, go ahead and pull up the, I, don't, I reveal maps more often than not, I should just leave this panel up. Uh, you've got Natural Expansion with the Lurker Eggs, which has been extremely popular, a little bit wider choke, but this is really the story of the map otherwise, is these wide lanes and kind of these boxed in middle locations, which can end up sending Troop movement is difficult. You have these big funnels for siege tanks, which means mid game, once the siege tanks are out and vulture mines are laid, it is extremely difficult for Protoss to approach or just gateway man their way across armies, which seems to be, the gateway man style seems to be very, very popular at this particular, at the, I would say like the A level MMR, the people who execute it well, which is about where these guys are. Probe Scout making its way out for Doodle. So what I would really like to see is more of that aggressive early shuttle play, Shuttle Reaver. And I think that plays well on Monopoly, but basically it is up to, I almost feel like de facto going in, Terran has the advantage. And it is up to Protoss to do something to make the map even, if that makes any sense. Doodle sneaking in, going to end up unabated. He's not gonna be in a position to get a gas deal. Do Life has already grabbed gas. He's going to see that gas take. Looks like not going to bother harassing that SCV. Either direction. In the meantime, Cybernetics Corps before Zealot. And the Simulator before Zealot as well. well. Let's see if Doodle, once he hits that 100 resources, does... Yeah, he is going to opt for that Zealot. Maybe to pressure that front door. At this distance, location... I don't know if that'll play out or not, but... We'll see if he can force out him. Maybe get a Marine Killer too. The Probe doing some nice jukes at the ramp to stay in the interior. Third barrack, third barrack, third supply, uh, second supply depot, third obstacle down to create a nice sort of pseudo nest for Marines to dodge in and out of. The Marine going to go ahead and set up camp near the ramp. Probe taking some shots before backing out. Zealot holding the ramp is able to block out that SCV on the opposite side of the map. So it's going to stay at home base. Dragoon on the way. And the next critical juncture here, is Doodle going to go ahead and opt for Dragoon range, or is he going to skip it? He's going for Dragoon range. Rather than going for a skip to get faster robotics facility, etc. Single SCV now in gas, so it looks like it is going to be a standard factory play into Siege. I'm getting a big raid from 80s Mullet, and if you were a fan, this is going to be a side thing. This is in the early game. If you guys watch Twitch at all, and you follow my channel, period, you should be following 80s Mullet. That's just what it comes down to. It's just one of those de facto things. If you're following me, you should follow 80s Mullet. So I'm going to say, like, if you are watching this on YouTube, or if you're anywhere else, just pause this right now. Go on Twitch, give 80s Mullet a, a follow, and uh, if you happen to see him streaming, say hi for me. Do Life, going ahead and planting down that bunker. We do have a Dragoon moving forward to go ahead and create some harassment. And this bunker is not going to be in time, and that is two exposed Marines. And a Zealot and a Dragoon are plenty. So now, barely getting into the nick of time. I feel like if Doodle was a little bit more aggressive with that, might have been able to get more accomplished. The Dragoon actually shredded with shields, but the Dragoon and the Zealot going to be able to march straight into the main. So Do Life going to have to deal with some harassment right off the bat. And he went Vulture first. So only two Marines in that bunker, so losing that low ground advantage, a pretty significant deal, because he's gonna have to pull off SCVs, and he's losing SCVs. Two already down, another Marine produced. That Dragoon, a little bit low on health, but that Zealot able to get yet a third SCV kill. And finally, looks like this is gonna get cleaned up, but gas was disrupted, mining was disrupted. The natural expansion is coming online. But early damage economically for Doodle. He's up 21 workers to 17. Mines being upgraded. That also kept the vultures back for a significant period of time. 
Doodle going ahead and with his next two Dragoons, just going to hold them short. Play defensively towards the front. Now, this is kind of the period of time where Dulife can swing things back his direction. It looks like he's actually pulled all SCVs off gas momentarily to try to catch up on the mineral front, transferring SCVs to that natural expansion. Citadel of a Dune up and a Templar Archives as well for Doodle with a robotics facility. So potentially going for shuttle drops into the main DTs. And that is the sort of mid-game tech that is necessary on Monopoly. However, the engineering bay is going to be here. Do life playing it cautiously. Let's see if he plants. The turret coverage is going to be key. And as well, we've got these mines along this pathway so the Dark Templar just can't simply, you don't just walk into do life space mortar equivalent here. It's hard to make that equivalent without the funny voice, I guess. Dragoon doing a little bit of damage to that vulture before backing off. So we got two gateway, shuttle and the, or sorry, two Dark Templar off the two gateway, a shuttle being built. Natural expansion is humming. Doodle currently with the economic lead, but needs to hold that economic lead. Engineering Bay up, single mine back here, so potentially already prepared and anticipating the Stark Templar drop. Missile turret along the refinery to go ahead and provide a shielding of detection there. The vultures might be out of position though to defend the main. So we've got a handful of mines here and there, but that's not sufficient to take out all the Dark Templar, particularly with the shuttle. And vulture speed is not upgraded and they're moving out in the field. So this, despite having the turret coverage, this might not be sufficient for do life to prevent some serious damage. Armory coming online as well. The vulture sweeping, checking the third, making sure it wasn't a quick third. That's going to confirm that, okay, there was a tech build behind this. And that's as the shuttle is revealing itself in the main. And no troops currently. The Dark Templar walking right past both mines on top of the turret immediately. It is gone. And rather than focusing on the SCVs, because he sees a lack of commsat, is just going to go after that armory, which is going to delay weapons one. So that damage done. Now going into the SCV line, going to interrupt some gas. Nice play there. So weapons one going to be severely delayed. And now, honestly, after the supply depot, because there's no anti-air, with the detection, they can just go ahead and back up. Ah! Oh! Mind drags, leaving the Bolt Dark Templar extremely weak. Now they're starting to work on that engineering bay. But Doodle, honestly, I think can lift, can just transport these Dark Templar out of here. They've done their job. Let them rest. Okay. Now pulling out, grabbing his third. I think that might have been spotted. Observer viewing the way. So with no mobile detection, the Academy just coming online and a small troop count, also a supply block for Doodle in the midst of all of this, or sorry, for Doolife in the midst of all of this. Doodle surging ahead in the mid game. He's got his own supply block, but it's at a much higher troop count. Now transitioning right into Arbiter Tech. Has three gateways. Kind of want to see a larger gateway count behind this. As is that third Nexus is coming online. And those, because of the threat of that drop, the Vultures and the Siege Shanks need to stay back in a defensive position. So Doodle surging ahead in supply. Speed just coming online. I don't even know that Siege Tech is online for do life here. And the Dragoons starting to wander out to go ahead and spot and maybe grab that fourth. Doodle face planting that Dragoon across that mine just to go ahead and clear it out rapidly. So he has the option. It looks like he is going to migrate a probe out. So good game sense here to know that he can take that fourth as well. Do life gathering up with the Siege Shanks and the Vultures. Speed should be finished in not too long from now. Probe going to go ahead and march up and grab this base. This is very exposed though, and it was a very brave base for Doodle to take because this is essentially like this is basically expanding towards your opponent. And knowing Dulife and his ability to push Mech rapidly, a big risk on his part. I think it's going to pay off, though. He just has sufficient troop counts where, and he's managed to, with all the harassment, keep Dulife on the back foot. I'm not sure that Dulife is, he, he's feeling a little bit more defensive. He hasn't even dropped a fourth or a fifth 
factory here, still sitting on three, which leads me to believe he's thinking about just gonna go going ahead and grabbing a third base. And plus one weapons started a moments ago, which means it's not gonna be finished until what, the 13, 14 minute mark? A severe delay. Probe and Dark Templar out in the field. Maybe to go... Maybe the Dark Templar is just going to be there to clear a mine, potentially, and grab an additional base. No, this is just going to float into the middle. So he's going to take the middle map position as well. Feeling confident enough, but okay, not only am I going to grab my fourth at the 9 o'clock position, I'm going to take dead center, and do life can't do anything about it, which honestly might be 100% accurate. To remind you, uh, the middle is effectively, as you, I'm trying to show you guys the perimeter here, is effectively an island. So you need like drop ships or something else to get in there. Doodle seen no form of air. So kind of a clever take. And really forcing, kind of taxing Do Life's economy to push that direction. Do Doodle with a sizable economy, a bunch of gateways now behind this. He's got Arbiters on the way. Stasis just about finished. Probes were looking to transfer, but getting caught by those vultures. The vultures actually able to make all the way into that natural expansion. But very rapidly taken down, which is important against Do Life because he can shred those probe counts extremely rapidly. Doodle just taking all of... Rather than bothering resaturate, he's just going to move them all back to the 9 o'clock and resaturate from here. Worker count actually even, so Do Life doing a pretty good job macroing. He has grabbed that third base at the inside 4 o'clock location. He is now getting his starport, but just now tacking on a fourth and a fifth factory. And Doodle already has one Arbiter out. He's going to have a second Arbiter out momentarily. Wow, I feel really good about the timing of that. And two more Stargates and a Fleet Beacon being dropped from Doodle. So Doodle feeling he's in a strong enough position and has Do Life so much on the back foot that he can transition all the way from Arbiter Tech to Carrier Tech and isn't going to, and that will help defend that interior Nexus and really isn't going to have to worry about Do Life's push in between. 40 supply lead. We'll see if it pays off. Shuttle scooping up a Dragoon. See if a Zealot adds on there as well. Do Life still with no... Did he even upgrade Siege Tech? Because <laughs> I don't see a single tank Siege anywhere thus far. And I'm wondering if he was cheating on that the entire time. He had to have got... I mean, right? He, he has to have Siege Tech at the 13 minute mark. We'll see. At the very least, he has weapons won. <laughs> As weapons one, he's got his three bases up. And whenever you have a Terran that can make their way towards that 200-200 tech supply, you, you really cannot count them out. In fact, Do Life was in a similar position in previous matches and was able to come back to victory. Arbiter cycling into the main. Big recall. Turret instantly taken out. So SCVs exposed... And getting wiped out, the siege tanks and vultures a little bit slow. So a lot of SCVs getting wiped out. And it feels like, what, like 20 seconds later, finally siege tanks making their way up to engage the Dragoons. That also have plus one weapons. There we have confirmed that siege tech is upgraded. But a lot of supply depots getting wiped out. The armory might get taken out again. Finally, a CompSat over the main, but all sorts of damage and havoc being wreaked. And this is buying yet more time off four Stargates for carriers to come into play. And I will tell you what, ladies and gentlemen, this is looking like another Do Life victory. Or sorry, another Doodle victory. And a berth into the Hasu League Finals. Dragoon's taking some damage, but look at all, just completely, this feels like a broken replay right here with the lack of response from Do Life. Do Life in the red, maybe thinking he just wants to go for a killing blow after this, but 185 supply there for Doodle. All of the supply depots taken out to the north. 
potentially do life worried about a counterattack from the front exposing his other two bases but behind that losing practically every supply depot and still hasn't mounted a response two siege tanks finally making their way up so doodle at 200 supply and do life supply capped at nearly half that and this is as a fleet of carriers are taking the field things are looking dire for do life a situation where he might need to go for a tech switch this arbiter still sitting inside the base scv is now resaturating the main honestly i want to see a carrier recall at this stage kind of the spike at the end of the match here some commsats being dropped from do life he does in fact now spot that carrier tech and his heart has to drop particularly being on the verge of elimination some goliaths in production but honestly this is not going to be sufficient goliaths to deal with the carrier zealot dragoon combination army And Doodle setting up to go ahead and grab yet another base. The carrier is marching forward. Taking out what little anti-air is inside Doolife's base. Doolife maybe has one push that he can try to execute to get back in this match. He hasn't even recapped the gas at his main yet. Arbiter walking forward. Recalling over the factory line. So now a complete breach. And there is GG from Doolife. And in convincing fashion, Doodle advances to the Hasu League Finals. Hope you guys enjoyed it. That was, honestly, Doodle just crushing it here at the end. Just crushing it. So, Do Life with a round of four finish. Hopefully, we'll see him next season. I think this is the best he's... So, congratulations to him. He had a really good run this season. Hope to see him next season. In the meantime, thank you for listening.